A couple of weeks ago, Dan Sperry posted a really interesting video on Facebook. He spent about four minutes making some really interesting points. He then spent about 17 minutes <laughs> having a crazy rant. Uh, <laughs> but this is, I guess, a, a video response to that. Yeah, I guess so, because um, I actually agree with Dan, and he name-checked uh, Vanishing Inc. and some other magic companies as perpetuating something he sees as bad. And I watched this video, and I totally agreed with him, and I think you did too. The basic gist of his message, I think, is this. Magic is sold on the internet that can't be performed in the real world. Magic is being made that is deceptive. It's being created by people who aren't performers to sell magic. And we, from the beginning of Vanishing Ink seven years ago, have tried like crazy to avoid this. Yeah, I think it's important to understand that we are first and foremost magicians. That's right. That's not only our passion, but our careers. So when we create and publish magic through Vanishing Ink, it almost always comes through our own filters of performing it at gigs that we do. Yeah, we're the only big magic shop that is owned and operated by two professional magicians. And here's the thing you get at Vanishing Ink that you don't get really anywhere else that I know of. We only put things out and on our site that pass our inspection. It doesn't mean we do everything. We carry over a thousand items. But it means we've looked at everything and we look at it based on a few criteria. That's right. Criteria such as, uh, is a trick angle-proof? Or is it something you would actually perform in a real-world environment? Yeah. We do something already that I think is really important, and that is we do returns. If you get a trick and you decide it's not for you, it's not practical, it doesn't look like it was as advertised, you return it. And we take it back, no questions asked. And the thing that we want to do even better is we want to eliminate these deceptive trailers. We don't want to carry things on our site that aren't practical in the real world for a pro to perform, and we want to replace the videos where they edit out important things like forces or the fact that you have to be in black shirt in a dark room or something like that. Who cares if a trailer isn't as deceptive because we haven't edited out some moves? We actually want you to, to judge these trailers on, is this a trick I would actually be able to perform? That's why most of our trailers are actually full performances. It's true that they're not going to look as good as these crazy edited trailers, but that really doesn't matter. We want you to see what you would see if we were performing. Why is John Archer here? Fellas, it's, uh, it's getting on. Oh, oh, sorry, you've confused us for the Dan Sperry video. Awkward. Sorry. sorry. But, but here's the thing, though. We are just one magic shop. We are one producer. How can we change the rest of the world? And in truth, we can't. That's right. And the way that you can change magic on a larger scale is to vote with your pocketbook. You shouldn't buy these terrible tricks that look too good to be true and are ridiculous trailers that edit things down to one second. And we're going to do our part to make sure that you see what you're getting before you get it. So. We think that uh, that message on that part of Dan Sperry's video was actually right on target. Yeah, so uh, basically we agree with you, Dan, and we're here to help try and change that. And we hope that other magic shops take that on board too. Thanks, Internet. Yo, peace.